Over 100 years ago, the Great War, later known as World War I, had been raging for four years. An armistice agreed to by the Allies and Germany called for hostilities to end at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Many people believe that this was the end of the Great War, but shelling continued by both sides until midnight. The armistice initially expired after a period of 36 days and had to be extended several times. A formal peace agreement was only reached when the Treaty of Versailles was signed the following year on June 28, 1919. In legislation that was passed in 1938, November 11th was dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated as Armistice Day. As such, this new legal holiday honored World War I veterans. In 1954, after having been both through World War II and the Korean War, the 83rd U.S. Congress, at the urging of the Veterans Service Organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting the word veterans. With the approval of this legislation on June 1, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor all American veterans. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our veterans in the U.S. and a special thank you to our veterans at Woodstown High School. We currently have three members of our Woodstown family that have served in the military. Mr. Jason Mace and Mr. Chris Snyder, who served in the Air Force, and Mr. Reggie Teamer, who served in the Army. Thank you for your service to our country and your continued dedication to our community. November 11th is a special day, but our veterans deserve our recognition every day of the year. I call upon all of us to become aware of our veterans' issues, services, and assistance, and to give back some of what has been given to us. Please urge your state and federal representatives to fully support veterans' services. Take the time to explore the veterans' service organizations in your area and support them through volunteering or financial donation. At the least, thank a veteran for his or her service, especially our faculty at Woodstown, and listen to them if they have something to say. Thank you and God bless America.